why this fanaticism? Saul of Tarsus wanted to sweep Christianity away. The Bible says that he was breathing out murderers' threats. Acts chapter 9 verse 1. He was totally enraged by Christians. Breathing. He says like a dragon that we see in cartoons breathing fire through their noses. A fire was coming out of his body against Christians. He would lose his mind if he heard this term Christian. Thus he was extremely fanatical, especially in his ways of persecuting Christian people. We must take into consideration that Saul was a Pharisee, not only a Jew, but from a Jewish family that stood firm by the traditions of their fathers and extremely zealous. Pharisee means set apart. Pharisees made it their goal to not only observe the law, but to protect it as well. They were teaching in the synagogues. As a Pharisee, he was aware that God sent his anger upon Israel and Judea, allowing them to be taken captive for their violation of the law. As a fervent Pharisee, the Christian sect was breaking God's law. For example, they did not keep the Sabbath and worshipped the Lord on Sunday. This was the reasoning of Saul of Tarsus. Saul thought he was doing God's service. I would like to say more about this topic. Stay tuned. Saul thought he was doing God's service by obtaining letters permitting him to arrest and capture Christians. He began in Jerusalem. He was looking for them in every house, even under the Romans' oversight. He arrested Christians' people, throwing them into prison. He sometimes forced them to blaspheme, to deny Jesus Christ, to deny his deism and his crucifixion. As a zealous Pharisee, he thought he was doing a service to God. Do we not notice today these kind of people who persecute Christians and think that they are doing a service to God? Self-righteousness leads to fanaticism, which leads to severity. They think they are protecting God. If God is alive, how could man protect him? God is able to protect himself. They think they are doing a service to God by protecting him. Today, they persecute Christians in the name of religion, doing everything against the laws. They kill or put them in prisons. Why? Because they are following Jesus Christ. Isn't it strange? Saul was not only breathing out murderous threats, he was a very zealous Pharisee, harsh and strictly protecting the law. He thought he was doing God's service. He became a terrorist in the name of religion. He murdered Christian saints, put them in prison, forced them to blaspheme and to disown Jesus Christ. A very important point, those Christians were an invincible power. Though persecuted and going through many hardships, Christianity was fast growing. On the day of Pentecost and after the sermon of the Apostle Peter, 3,000 Jewish people accepted Jesus Christ and joined the church. After two chapters in the book of uh, the Acts of the Apostles, 5,000 people were added to the church. Peter and John were arrested, flogged, and beaten. Yet, they were both very happy being beaten and persecuted. That is why Paul wanted to react by sweeping Christians away. But they were increasing in number. He wanted to destroy the new religion before it spread out in remote places. This is why he was going to Damascus, because there 
were a large group of Christians living there. Let me ask you a question in the end, a very important one. Please give me an answer through social media or buy a clip on your webcam or cell. The question is, what do you think about terrorism? What do you think about those who kill in the name of religion? And about those who persecute the Christians, putting them in prison for one reason only, that they are Christians. Is terrorism legal? Is it something given by God, letting them kill the Christians? Is this God weak or unable to protect himself or deliver his message? Please tell me about this subject. I would like to hear from you. I urge you today to say to him, Lord, I would like to put fanaticism and my past inside. I pray that you open my eyes and my mind so that I can see the truth. Talk to me. Talk to me, God, and reveal yourself to me. Please tell us if God reveals himself to you. God be with you. See you tomorrow and the day after tomorrow and every day.